Breaking news. Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Mila, has said that it was high time Nigeria increased the minimum educational qualification for those aspiring to hold certain political office. According to Bajabia Mila, aspirants for the position of president, state governors, as well as members of the National Assembly in the country must attain certain academic height. He said, the current provision of the Constitution which stipulates secondary school certificates or its equivalent as a minimum educational requirement was old and not in line with the trends of the 21st century. Bajabi Amila stated this while delivering the 52nd Convocation Lecture of the University of Lagos on Monday. Though he did not mention a specific academic qualification, the speaker explained that just as the National Assembly successfully reduced the eligible age for political offices in the country ahead of the 2019 general elections, lawmakers would need to review upward the mandatory academic qualification for persons aspiring to those offices. He stated that this would be another step towards electoral system reform and production of quality leaders and also quality leadership in the country. On conversations around the adoption of direct primaries by political parties to choose their candidates, Bajabi Amela said he was optimistic that such policy would certainly increase greater participation in leadership recruitment process. Speaking on tertiary education in Nigeria, the speaker said there were lots of reforms needed to ensure universities produce qualified and competent manpower as well as reservoir of quality researches and innovations that will help solve societal problems and put Nigeria in the committee of prosperous country. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction to this present situation of things? We've just heard what has been said by a speaker of the House of Representatives in Nigeria, Femi Bajabia Mila. He said that it was high time Nigeria encouraged the minimum educational quality for those aspiring to hold the certain political offices. Though he never mentioned the, you know, the educational height, but he made a suggestion that it's high time it should be encouraged. What is your thoughts to this? Who would like you to let us know your own point of view to this? Who would like you to let us know your own reaction? As we all know that the current provision of the Constitution of Nigeria stipulates secondary school certificates, you know, as the educational requirement. And according to Bajambi Amila, I said it was old and not in line with the trend of the 21st century. Do you agree with him? According to the news, he delivered the statement on the second convocation lecture of the University of Lagos on Monday. He said, if the National Assembly successfully reduced the legible age of political offices in the country ahead of the 2019 general elections, then lawmakers would need to review upward the mandatory academic qualification for persons aspiring for those offices.
who would like you to let us know your thoughts to this who would like you to share on point of view with us via the comment section but before we go let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this let's see what people has felt concerning the present situation of things in nigeria steven reacted to this and said which nigeria are you referring to mr honorable were you not elected to make law that would change the country for good if it is to include direct primary into the electoral amendment act you will not ask nigerians you people are nothing but useless politicians without vision what is your thoughts to this we've just heard what Stephen have said saying that the nigerian politicians are always making you know they are always taking step they are always taking decisions that are against the will of the people now according to what Stephen has said that's if it is to include direct primary into the electoral amendment act you will not ask nigerians what now that it has to do with educational qualification you are seeking for the opinions of nigerians what is your thoughts to this after all you also was elected to make laws that would change the country for good but what have you gone there to do obviously you have gone there to do contrary to the initial you know plan what is your thoughts to this what is your own reaction to this as you can see it is as if the disaster happening presently in nigeria now in terms of insecurity in terms of you know old men ruling nigeria has become you know or probably has taught so many youthful politicians in nigeria a huge lessons and now they are trying to make amend of their ways of which probably might be too late by now because a lot of things have gone wrong and it is easy to spoil than to make amend well we are looking forward to see a better nigeria well let's move forward and see what other people reactions is on this francis opara also reacted and said who are the nigeria if not you who is in the position of making laws for the nation at large for a good and prosperous nigeria but selfish and psychophancy won't allow you to do the needful. We've just heard what Francis have said that who are the Nigerians, if not you people in the position to make laws for the nation at large for a good and prosperous Nigeria, but because of your selfishness and psychophancy, that won't allow you to do the needful. What is your own reaction to this? We have had different reactions from people concerning what has been said by Bajabi Amila saying that Nigeria should increase the academic qualification for presidents and other political offices in Nigeria. We would like you also to let us know your thoughts to this. We would like you to share on point of view with us via the comment section. Thank you guys for listening. To subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.